Hey, Dad, tell me about how you took that picture. Well, I was up in, uh, in uh, what's the name of that state there in New England? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. And uh, we lived in, uh, uh, in uh, Munson, Munson, Massachusetts. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I was driving along the road, and for some reason why, and I don't know, I had my camera with me. Uh-huh. It was loaded. And I drove by and saw this picture of that mountain way out there in the distance and the lake and a little bridge between the two lakes there with people standing on it. Yeah. And uh, so I drove, uh, I pulled over on the side of the road and then backed up and got out of the car, took my camera and walked across the street and jumped over the fence and walked out to the edge there. And as I walked out to the edge, the property started going down, and I was looking down oh. on the lake. It was in the valley. Oh. The water was below me quite a bit. And what's the name of the, the picture? Uh, I don't know if I got a name for the picture. It was uh, Mount Shakura. That, well, that in the background out there, Mount Shakura. In the background. Yeah, and you took that black, picture in 1975. Yep, that black hill up there. It was in the fall. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really pretty. The trees and everything up there. That's one thing, uh, when I was traveling, working, I had New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont as part of my territory, Massachusetts, Connecticut. And uh, I, I always kept my camera with me. And uh, whenever I would see something unusual, I'd stop and take a picture. Ah. And, uh, I saw this picture, that lake, and uh, when I pulled over on the side of the road, it was out in the country, quite a ways out in the country. There was no town around. And uh, I looked down there and I saw some people standing on that bridge down there. And I thought, I'd like to take that picture. It's a fall color and uh, the trees were in color. And uh, so I got out and uh, I was, the, the road was this side, and I walked across the road, climbed over a fence, and walked out to the edge there, and looked down on that lake, and then saw that bridge down there, and there were some people on that bridge. Yeah. And, uh, and looked up there and saw the Mount Shakura there. And, uh, the reason why I knew it was Mount Shakura was because there was a sign alongside the highway, and in uh, <coughs> those days, and I don't know whether it still is or not, but they would have uh, signs along the road where there were uh, viewers areas where you could take pictures and viewing spots and what have you, and this was one of them. Ah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's 35 years old now. Yep. Still looks great. Now, what were you selling back then when you uh, lived in Massachusetts? I was selling carbon black dispersions. And was that for Borden's? Borden, yeah. Okay. We would take uh, carbon black that was burned from crude oil, the powder. Yeah. And uh, we'd grind it in big uh, ball mills, steel ball mills, about the size of a marble that you used to shoot, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, they had... Uh, uh, leaves inside of the, the ball mill that turned like this and as the mill turned they would pick up the balls from there and they would drop and grind oh. as they hit the ones on below it uh -huh. and uh, so this carbon black uh, we made carbon black dispersions for ink paint coatings paperboard fiberglass leather finish and what have you black one time you told me if it's black it's carbon black yeah and we made it in water we didn't make it in solvent uh, we had a process where we made solvent blacks but we were so restricted by the government in case of fire oh from the solvent yeah explosion oh. and stuff that uh, insurance and everything was high so we stuck mostly to water. 
And that worked okay? It worked okay. Ah. Did all companies that made carbon black have to do that? Yes. Uh-huh. But Borden's was kind of leading the pack with carbon black, were they at that time? Borden was, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we, we did a lot of the work. Yeah. Uh, we did it for paperboard, fiberboard, leather finish, and stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. rubber and tires, too? Huh? Rubber and tires? Tires, yeah. Uh-huh. In water, not mm. in solvent. Mm. We, uh, we didn't go into solvent because the government was very restrictive on fire and explosions because of the solvent, and we didn't want to have to have that tremendous expense of preventing that. Uh-huh. So we made it strictly in water. And then uh, when did you uh, when did you leave Borden and go with uh, the next company? I can't think of the name of them. Uh, Solution Dispersions. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember when that was. Did you go directly from Borden to Solution Dispersions? Yes. Uh huh. And that was a really good company too, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. You worked with them until you were how old? Seventy-seven. I traveled on the road for him until I was 77, yeah. Yeah, how many years did you travel all together? Uh, 44. That's amazing. Yep. Wow. SDI, Solution Dispersions Incorporated. Oh, that's right, SDI. And they treated you well? Yes, very. Uh-huh. Uh, Bill and Karen Steppel, uh. Uh, they've moved from up in New Hampshire, they moved to, uh, or Massachusetts, they moved to Texas. They're down there now. And they dropped me a line at Christmas and told me they were in Texas and they gave me their, uh, tell, they gave me their address there. Did they retire? Yes. Well, no, uh, he didn't retire. He, uh, he bought a company down there. He sold solution dispersions and bought a company down Oh, there. I see. But I, I don't know what happened to him. Oh, okay. Do you still have his address? Yes. Have you written to him? Uh, I send him a Christmas card every Christmas. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're good about that. Yeah. Huh. You traveled a lot, didn't you, Dad? I was on the road 44 years. Did you carry a camera with you a lot so you yeah. could take pictures? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was amazing, and this is unusual. In all the years that I traveled on the road, I never had an accident. I never got a ticket. Uh, I never had a flat tire. Really? Uh huh. It was amazing. That is amazing. I think you told me you only fell asleep once and you drove into a field. Yep. And nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. So you were had a blessed. Uh, yeah. 44 years of traveling. Yep, I did have. That's pretty. You were lucky, lucky, lucky. And my customers really liked to have me come around. I would take them out for lunch, and we would discuss, you know, things. And, Business, and you'd yeah. tell them jokes, probably. <coughs> yeah. I was a big joke teller then. Yeah. They loved to hear jokes. Yeah. I, had, I had two sets of jokes. <laughs> one I told the men, and one I told the women. And... <laughs> And it was amazing how many women wanted to hear the men jokes. <laughs> Would you tell them? Yeah, I uh, use my judgment. Judgment. Uh huh. Do you still tell those jokes, Dad? No. No. Yeah. Not having traveled anymore and seen a lot of people, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I covered a lot of territory. I covered 13 states on the East Coast. Wow. At different times for different companies? No, that was for one company. Which company did you cover 13 states? Solution Dispersion. Oh, I see. You covered 13 just for them. Mm 